We stayed in downtown Reykjavik, and everything you'll see in this video was within a reasonable walking distance of our hotel. It was only a few blocks, for example, to the waterfront and the old harbor. The mountain in the distance is Mount Esja. It's not actually a single mountain, but a range named for an infamous witch said to live on a farm near the mountain. It's popular with hikers and climbers, and there are several well-marked routes to the top. The Sun Voyager sculpture, the winner of a design contest in 1986, is popular with photographers, especially around sunset. We even found a little reminder of home. That building in the distance is the Harpa. It hosts concerts, plays, and other events. In the other direction, Reykjavik's city hall lies next to Shornin Pond, which is supposedly home to 40 to 50 different species of aquatic birds. We visited several museums, including the Maritime Museum. Housed in a once flourishing fish factory, the museum highlights the history of the fishing industry in Iceland's largest port. The Saga Museum recreated key moments from Iceland's early history and shares a building with a Michelin Guide featured restaurant serving traditional Icelandic food with a modern twist. We found a variety of quality dining options downtown and even a brewery tour where we learned about Iceland's emerging craft brewing industry and did some sampling. And don't miss this Icelandic twist on an American classic. Apotek is the Icelandic word for pharmacy, and the hotel served up some interesting potions and a solid spread for breakfast. Lugavegur, Reykjavik's main shopping street, and its surrounding areas were bright, colorful, and full of bars, restaurants, and coffee shops, in addition to the shops selling Icelandic goods. Halkrumskirkja, a church named for a famed religious poet, is an extremely visible landmark rising around 250 feet above the city. For a small fee, you could take an elevator up to the tower. A couple of additional flights of stairs gets you to an observation deck with some of the best aerial views in Reykjavik. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of Reykjavik, and I'll leave you back at the waterfront with these shots of the full moon rising.